What's going on you guys? I'll bring you another strike pack tutorial slash setup video. This video is going to be going over the free stop mods that already come with the strike pack. This has nothing to do with my pass. I know a lot of you guys run the strike pack without my pass and still to this day, to this very second, I get questions about, you know, Nancy recall so that comes with the strike pack and how to set up strike pack for Warzone without mod pass. I've gone over a previous video about this, like um way back when. But I didn't really get too much into detail. But this time I'm gonna, you know, set it up to my liking. I'm gonna set it up. Now you could you could follow along with this tutorial and set it up the way you feel, like have your primary, secondary, or whatever. You gotta, you know, do your own recoil. You gotta get your own. There's no values. Because obviously we're doing it straight from the strike pack, so you gotta go up and down, only adjust vertical to get your own, you know, to get your own results. You're gonna be adjusting NC recoil as well as enabling automatic weapon swap and having a secondary. I'm going to be having rapid fire on my secondary. And I'm going to be turning on the hair trigger mod. Because yes, hair triggers, um, it's a free mod that comes with the stripe pack. You just got to enable it, disable it. You got to know how to. And that's it. I got you guys. So without further ado, follow along, pay attention. And I'm going to have some gameplay also at the end of this video. So let's go. All right, you guys. So the best possible loadout I'm going to be demonstrating going over with you guys is obviously the meta. Far and all. EOD overkill and throwing knives and flash grenade. Now, you know, these are my attachments. This is how I feel like rolling with. You know, most is obviously like, you know, OP meta. Agency suppressor, turn 1.2 ranger. This, I guess, is to each his own. Some run takedown, some still run the reinforce heavy. I don't know why, because that's nerfed, but okay. And the task force, you know, is already garbage. So it's pretty much down to these two, but I like bullet velocity. And that, that's my goal test, my thing, bullet velocity. Now I'm going with the foregrip just for a little extra horizontal help. Since um, we are running the basic mods of the strike pack, you're going to want to get, you know, as much horizontal help as you can, but not too much. I just don't a foregrip or whatever. Salvo fit around mag. See how well the strike pack is going to hold up controlling those last 10, 15 bullets. God helps, but let's see. Uh, speed tape, and that's it. And then for the AUG, you got the agency. Got the 17 titanium again to each his own. I like titanium because this fire rate is crazy. I like my arc to fire very fast, so this is my go to. But match, match grade, strike tape, whatever. But I like titanium. Boy, five round speed mag, speed tape, and arms times three. So this is it. Without further ado, let's go into a game plunder so uh, we can do some adjustments because you're gonna have to adjust first, mainly for the far, right? We're not gonna be touching. um the recoil, the editing, the recoil for the arc. Because again, it's a burst, semi automatic All we're going to do is just apply rapid fire for it. That's it. Now, let's go. All right, guys. I'm going to be showing you a quick couple of mods to enable now. Because um, oh, it's a plunder game of plunder. It takes a while. And I do get kicked. That happens quite often. And it's freaking annoying. So, um, first things first. Flip the strike pack over. If your eyes are white, you're in tournament mode. That means no mods are active. See these two small black buttons back in strike pack. I like to go left and right, but it doesn't matter. Just press them both. One, two. Turn the eyes blue. Now I'm in mod mode. No mods active at the moment. But right now we're going to enable hair triggers for our triggers for ADS and R2. So what we're going to do is hold the right D-pad. And then press R1. The light turn green for R2. Press R1. Now we have enabled both triggers. To disable the mod, same thing. Press it again. Hold right. And press R1. It turns red. Green is on. That's like a secret built-in mod that um that you won't know unless you read the manual that collector mod is kind of doing there. It's pretty dope. Now what we're going to do is go into the actual mods right here. You know, the top eight LED lights is how it's right pack. So you want to hold, press and hold the left D-pad for about five seconds until the first light all, all the way over here in the strike pad turns on. That's primary mods for your primary weapon. Press square to go right, navigate right, X to navigate left. You want to go to the second one. We're trying on that second one. What we just did was enable rapid fire for our secondary. But we're not done yet. We want to enable weapon swap. So the way you go about enabling the weapon swap, you hold right on the D-pad for a few seconds. You keep holding it. Now, once you get that, that bright ass white LED light, go ahead and press triangle one time. Light turn green. Now we're on automatic weapon swap. So now I'm, let me go to the loadout, which is the far and the odd. Now I'm good to go. The last final thing that you would need to do is just adjust the recoil for the far. Because right now, it has hella recoil. So you're going to have to adjust the recoil. Now, if I press Enemy triangle, someone's going to kill me. Someone's gonna... Anyway, now if I press triangle, you can see the light flashed. If I ADS and shoot, 
you can see I got rapid fire for the AUG. Pretty dope, right? Look at that. Rapid fire for the AUG. Awesome setup. Fresh triangle. Goes back to the par. See that? It's pretty dope, right? It's pretty dope. It's kind of like having like mod pass, but you know, you're not what I have in my pass. <laughs> Enemy now, adjusting your recoil is a little different because you don't ADS shoot and down, up and down. Not the same as in my pass. This is different. And I'm going to show you guys how to go about doing that. I'm going to cut here and I'm going to go somewhere private because I don't want to get got. And I'll be right back. Okay, I think I found where I'm going to go. I'm going to go all the way to the building. That's all the way back here. Which is it? Uh, mm, yeah, I think it's that right. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so adjusting your recoil is different when, when just using um the regular stock method, the regular way that comes with the strike pack. The bids had different, so um, I'll be showing you guys nonetheless. So I don't know how you guys still be questioning me. Actually, you know how how do I go about? Oh, I don't have my pass. Can't get my pass. Is there a setup I can use? The war zone, in particular, and get get similar results. Now, the way you go about adjusting your anti recoil, you know, for the far. Gonna hold left on the D pad for a few seconds and we're gonna go to the third light. So you press triangle, so press square and press triangle, activate the third light, third light is on. Now you don't wanna do it, so I just wanna move around stuff like that, make sure I don't get kicked. Now we're gonna do it, so you're gonna hold left. You're going to hold left for the D pad for a few seconds. See the light on the controller is blue. Keep holding it until it starts flashing orange. When it's flashing orange, Pressing R1 is going to bring the gun up. Pressing L1, red, is going to bring the gun down. So let's bring the gun down a few times. I'm not counting. Probably you're going to want to be counting and stuff like that. Remember, every gun is different. It's not like my pass where you can set up a specific gun and have automatic values and stuff like that and get values. This is different. You're going to literally have to do this for every single weapon. When you feel comfortable, you let it go. ADS and test your recoil. Whoa, I brought it down way too much. Holy fucking hell. Hold on, let me, um, I don't want to get kicked, bro. I'm just throw stuff. Just so I don't get kicked. Okay, now hold left on D-pad again for a few seconds. Wait till our arms like starts to flash. I'm gonna go up and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. One up twenty times. ADS and shoot. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. You can bring it up a little more. Hold left on the D-pad. Let's wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's how I lose count all that jazz. Okay, now he gets a shoot. Okay, that looks a lot better, but now I can bring it down a little bit, so let's bring it down by like let's bring it down by like two. No, I'll bring it down by three. One, two, three. Let's see ADS doesn't shoot. Okay, it still travels up a little bit. But we could bring it down more again. Like I said, this is a 50 round, so take that with a grain of salt. You guys already know. Hold up and D-pad again. Again, you can only adjust vertical. You can't adjust horizontal. Extraction is standing One, two, by. Mark an LZ three, for pickup. Right. Well, I think that was a little too much down. And... Oh, that was pretty good. You're not going to get it perfect. Obviously, you're not going to get it perfect. You're not going to get the, the recoil perfect. Let me bring it up two times. I think I saw a team over there dropping it. Let's see. Bring it up two more times. One, two. Okay, that looks a lot better. The whole 50 around stood. Let me go a little more farther back. Yeah, yeah. See, it tends to go down the last few bullets. But you could you could mess with it. You can come on here and mess with it. You know, get your get it, you know, fine tune it as best as you can, your liking, your attachments and all that stuff. I showed you how to do the automatic weapon swap. See, you press triangle, it like flashes. It doesn't flash red and green. It's always going to flash green. So you got to make sure you're using your the right weapon. So you have to shoot, you see. Rapid fire. And when you press triangle, go back. Let's say you die. Let's say you die. Oh, I can't get myself. I can't get myself. But let's say you die, right? And you're stuck like with your secondary. And then you, you fly back in with your primary. Just You could quickly reset it. Just reset it back to primary. Let's say whatever gun you have in your hand. Let's say you got the secondary. You just press, you hold right on the D-pad and press triangle. And then you should see that resetted it. 
See, you don't have a fire. But that all that does is reset it back to your primary. So if you got your primary out, if you got rapid fire in your secondary, <laughs> well, you, it enables um, you control the things you your secondary out again right in the D-pad, triangle quickly, and you get to go. It resets it back to your primary. That's how you reset it back to your primary in case you're you're screwed up. But again, you might not even run this setup. You might run whatever setup you wish, whatever freaking gun. Just do be advised that it is. You are using regular stock anti-recoil, you know, mod that's with the stripe pack. It's not so great, you know, it's free with the stripe pack. If you want greatness and better, you know, better results, obviously you're gonna have to subscribe to my pass. Obviously, that's no other way to put it. If you want like, you know, better mods and more accurate values and stuff like that for, for your recoil. But, you know, if, you, if you're short on money and, and or you just don't wanna get my pass, but you just, you know, wanna use the mods that came with the stripe pack, you wanna use what you pay for, yeah, then this is a quick, easy setup. You get the hair triggers, obviously, I like just, you know, see, barely pressing down. See, I'm barely pressing down on it, like nothing, and it's activating. Same thing for R2. See, barely, barely pressing down. That's what hair triggers are. You got rapid fire for your secondary mods. So, the first LED light all the way in the left on strike pack, that's for your primary weapon. The second light is for your secondary mods. And the third is the anti-recoil. And yeah, that's it. The only thing you don't have is slide cancel. But come on, we got we got paddles, so you can slide cancel yourself. You know what I mean? I mean, so you can slide cancel yourself. It's so easy. Okay, but anyway, yeah, that's it. Now, I'm sure I get some gameplay for you guys just using um these mods with the strike pack instead of using my pass. So uh, let's go. Crazy ass battle on that fucking roof. I fucking hate. <laughs> he fucking hate the AUG. Down to one, down to one, down to one. Uh -huh. oh, no. I didn't do so in this game. Those are so many sweats. Oh, I was playing them. I was playing them. I had 16 kills. I had 16 kills. Ooh. 16 kills? I had way more than that. Come on, that's 16. Probably 16 kills. Most kills I had in freaking... Most kills I had in Plunder was like 30 something. Oh my god. He's like, I got 16 kills. Boy, the most kills I had in Plunder was like 30 something. The most in Battle Royale was like 20, 20 something, 22, 23, I think. Yeah. But anyway, that's it. Just a few kills, 10 kills in that game. There was way too many sweats and stuff. And. Just remember, you guys, if you run into this strike pack um, with the stock mods, without my pass, you know, it's kind of hard getting used to. You know, the, the anti-recoil is okay. It's not perfect. Like, you can get it, like, on my pass, like, with the Warzone game packs and shit. You ain't gonna get it that perfect. If you want real, like, precise and perfect shit, then you're gonna have to subscribe. You have to subscribe to my pass. Simple as that. 
But um, if you don't want to, then I guess this is a fair game. It's, it's pretty much decent. It's okay. Same exact setup I showed you. If you're running other weapons, um, any other guns, whatever, it's the same exact setup. But since this was the meta, um, I just wanted to set it up like this. So if you guys want to see other videos of like other setups and stuff like that, running, running the, just the free stock mods and stuff like that, um, let me know. Let me know, and I'll do like other loadouts and shit like that in the future. But um, I just did it like this because it's the meta. Everybody in mama's running around with a far and all. So I was like, fuck it, let me just do far, far and all. Boom, simple. Get the hair triggers. You got the weapon swap. You got um, for the all, you got rapid fire for your secondary. Um, enabling rapid fire for your secondary, and then you got um, the anti recoil adjusting for your primary. So simple. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.